looking at the lips in pencil realism. This is the, uh, the picture I'm drawing. Um, it's singer Pixel Art, who's one of my favourite artists at the moment. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, this is the picture I'm copying. It's a huge poster, so you can get a lot of good detail out of this. Okay, what I'm using are a B pencil and a 2B pencil. B's are always best for shading and I've got, I think this is a 3B mechanical pencil at 0.5mm. Also got rubber and weird pencil rubber thingy, I don't know. Okay, so with the lips just correct this. With the lips, it really is just <laughs> copy the picture. Simple as. You generally find that the areas closer to the teeth on the lips are darker, as you can see that I've done already so far. Um, and there will be cracking slightly, as you can see there. Just gently put a light tone at the bottom. Oh, we're going out of focus. There we go. So if you gently put a light tone down here, always copying the picture. And there should be points where the darker tone lifts. Now the lips aren't all one straight line, as you can see, they're lumps, lumps and bumps. Just add in tone where necessary. Not only does the dark tone come from the centre of the lips, it also comes from where the lips meet on the sides. So this is the most darkest area. And the shade brings up slightly. Diagonally there. Okay, so far so good. Um, I've finished drawing and shading the lips. Uh, the only problem is the, uh, the gloss on the lips. If I see this here, see the gloss on the lips? Um, it's quite tricky to get such a perfect white instead of a light grey on a, on a drawing unless you initially cover up that area so no, so no white gets in. If you look at the eyes, I put masking tape over the uh, the eyes before I started colouring, so they're perfect white now, uh, and you, you can really tell. It really uh, brings out the eyes in this picture. But uh, oops, this was such an intricate area that it's quite hard to just it's just to simply uh, put masking tape over the top. So instead, I've obviously rubbed out the white areas, but you can't get it as white as you'd like. So, um, 
got some chalk uh, and I've broken a small piece off. You can see. Um, make sure it's got a point on it. Sorry about the focus, it takes a while. And just simply highlight the areas with the point. Can be quite tricky. So there's no problem with mixing media. If you want to use charcoal on darker areas, go for it. If you want to use chalk on lighter areas, there's no problem. In fact, you do whatever you want as long as the outcome looks good. Well, within reason. There. <laughs> yeah. That's made a bit of a difference. Okay. The part of uh, drawing the mouth um, is obviously the teeth and the darkness behind the teeth. Now, this would probably be the hardest thing because if you put down darker layers, they always seem to be closer than the lighter layers. Um, so, you need to be careful that you don't shade too much into the teeth or, or too close to the teeth as such. So I'll give that a go. It's just simply colouring the darker areas to begin with. Not not too dark, just to begin with. The teeth aren't supposed to be as white as white as the eyes. Um, so towards the upper lip, in this case, because that's where the uh, the lights come in, the light source is coming from the top right. Make sure that shadows on the upper part of the teeth are there. Focus. This is just gentle. Okay, then we're done. And there we have a very nice mouth.